When we're at home cooking in our kitchens and we grab a bag of flour out of the cupboard, we give very little care and attention actually as to how it got there. Well, I'm here at Alford Windmill in Lincolnshire and I'm here today to find out exactly how grain turns into flour. Jeff, how long have you been here? I've been here since 96. Lovely. You love it? Yeah. Yeah, it's, um, it's working with the climate, which I find a very satisfying thing to do. But you, you, you become much more aware of the climate than the average member of the public is. Right. Most people are only concerned with whether it's kind of raining or shining. Um, <laughs> for me, it's wind, wind speed, all that kind of thing, is there a storm, all those considerations. Yeah. And the other thing is it's working with the public. Um, and windmills seem to attract nice people. Yeah, they do. What are you actually doing here? I'm going then? to send this uh, wheat up to the top of the mill so that we can start milling. The grain's made its long journey up here. What happens next? Cars. This is a stack of organic uh, Lincolnshire bread making wheat. Wow. And uh, it's now beginning to start its journey through the mill. So, how much flour did this produce in its heyday? In its heyday, it, this was the only way of making flour. Well, wind and water mills were the only way of making flour, and flour was a major part of the diet and mills were a very important part of the community. This one town of Alford, which has got 3,000 people in it now, had four working windmills. Another one with five sails like this, a sixth sail and a fourth. And the children love your school trips, don't they? Children love school trips. Children <laughs> are, uh, we've got some fabulous schools around here. Yeah. And even the reception class upwards can get something out of a place like this, but the older ones can see Victorian engineering, they can see inventions, they can compare the old and the new, they can learn about climate, cogwheels, gears, all that kind of thing, they can learn about nutrition, the uh, importance of whole food eating, uh, the importance of vitamins, minerals and fibre, all of so which are like present in all the great flour. health message and oh, educational yeah. message for the yeah. kids and also, as we've said, learning where the food comes from. Yes. It doesn't just come from a supermarket, does it? Certainly not. <laughs> it's got to start somewhere. My customers uh, get, I think, quite a satisfaction mm. of getting flour directly from the mill and they can buy it within a few days of it having been milled. Well, that's it. I mean, I know for one, I get so excited about visiting places like this and actually taking the produce and and going home and making something with it. Yeah. And I think that's key, but yeah. people have lost yeah. that art. Yeah. And it's time, like some me and you, I think get them in love with I it again. I think it's coming back. <laughs> I think Hopefully must be so. doing the right thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the home of flour that we're milling today. Oh, wow. And the miller uh, checks the flour by the feel. The whole job really is related to it's feel. Like that is very nice, yeah, and the, although I say so myself. <laughs> that is just right. I tend to mill on the fine side, which is what my customers like. And this is um, this is a wholemeal flour? This is wholemeal wheat flour from organic English wheat, organic Lincolnshire wheat. Nothing finer, if I may say so, Absolutely. Jeff. <laughs> Jeff, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for allowing me to come here today my pleasure, and I watch you. the process. And I hope you don't mind if I uh, take a couple of bags over guess. me. I'd Please rather do. like yeah. me on this whole meal and the self raising yeah, okay. untreated flour, so yeah. uh, you don't mind? <laughs> I will pay you for them, I promise. <laughs> there you go, my love. I'll take those two. Thank you. And uh, that's not the best bit, because I'm now going to go into Jeff's tea room and have a nice cup of coffee. <laughs>